In the last three videos, we talked about three conditions, erectile dysfunction, smoking, and cardiovascular risk. And we showed you data from other investigators that patients who have these conditions have a lower number of circulating stem cells, a special type called circulating endothelial progenitor cells. What we didn't say is, or what we didn't talk about is why these numbers of cells would be lower. One of the reasons appears to be inflammation. And we're talking not about the acute inflammation, such as where you have a large amount of tissue damage and death in a short time period, such as in a heart attack or a stroke. We're talking about a chronic inflammation um, where the body is producing chemicals that are associated with injury, but not with a huge extent of immediate injury. So um, one of the chemicals associated with inflammation is called tumor necrosis factor alpha, TNF-alpha. And why we're going to focus on this one today, it's obviously it's not the only inflammatory mediator, but it's one that's been very well studied for more than two decades, and there's drugs on the market, such as Remicade and Embryl, which specifically block TNF-alpha in people. So because this is on the market, we can take our discussion to the level not just of animals, but also of people. So, TNF-alpha, it's found in conditions of inflammation, such as smoking. It's found elevated in obesity. Here's a graph of 50 obese women, 56 actually, obese women, and as you can see on the left, they have a lot more TNF-alpha than when they lose 10% of body weight after one year, as you can see in the middle, there's a reduction in TNF-alpha, and healthy age-matched controls have less TNF-alpha. TNF-alpha, why it's a bad thing in these kind of situations, is because it directly kills circulating endothelial progenitor cells. Here is one graph from um, a randomly selected paper, there's numerous papers showing this, that if you give TNF-alpha in vitro, the endothelial progenitor cells die. As you can see, uh, the y-axis is the degree of cell death, and you can see control and, and um, the treated cells. And actually in this graph, they also show interleukin 1 beta, which is another inflammatory mediator. So, in vitro we know that TNF-alpha is made by inflammation, and the TNF-alpha can kill these beneficial cells. Now, what happens in people? So, uh, here is a study in which patients with rheumatoid arthritis were given Remicade and on the x-axis is, is the degree of improvement after receiving Remicade. So the higher degree of improvement, the higher degree on the y-axis of increased circulating endothelial progenitor cells. So this is showing us that giving TNF-alpha blocking agents and patients that respond actually causes an increase in the circulating endothelial progenitor cell. If we look at another drug strategy, just simple glucocorticoids which block all inflammation, here is from another study in which you can see healthy, healthy uh, controls have higher number of the circulating endothelial progenitor cells. In the middle is the rheumatoid arthritis patients, they have lower number of circulating rheumatoid uh, circulating endothelial progenitor cells, and in the right, you can see after Remicade, I mean after glucocorticoids, there is an increase in the circulating endothelial progenitor cells. So, we are developing this idea then that inflammation makes TNF, and TNF is associated with decreasing the circulating endothelial progenitor cells in patients. Now, we talked about erectile dysfunction as being one of the manifestations of atherosclerotic disease and also the association between low numbers of these circulating endothelial progenitor cells and poor erectile function. So in another very interesting study, patients with ankylosing spondylitis who have a lot of inflammation were given Remicade for three months. And as you can see in this graph, on the left-hand side is before Remicade, on the right-hand side is after three months of Remicade, and on the y-axis 
is the erectile function as measured by the International Index of Erectile, of erectile Function. And um, you can see an improvement, a statistically significant improvement in between blocking the TNF in an inflammatory condition and improved erectile function. Now, let's go back to animals for a second. Uh, in animals, we have the benefit of um, knockout mice, which are genetically lacking certain genes that we want to study. So here is the comparison between wild types, or normal mice, and mice that lack TNF-alpha on the right. And as you can see on the, on the y-axis is the number of the spontaneous erections. And as you can see, animals genetically engineered not to have this inflammatory mediator, TNF-alpha, have more spontaneous erections. So the point of what we're talking about is that inflammation seems to be one of the key causative events in decreasing the amount of repair cells in circulation. And when you have less of these repair cells, then the body does not heal itself. This at least is our thinking right now. And as science moves on and as we do more YouTube videos, we'll tell you um, where the field is going. Thank you very much.